All right, to Jen Hex, uh, the, the, probably the most popular segment in TV news history. <laughs> Close. All right, uh, at issue today with so many good ones, but this one really piqued my interest. Amazon Prime is promising two-hour delivery service. Now, it focuses on certain items at certain times in certain blazes. We tested it out on Fox Business Network today with these results. All right, the count is on now. Here we go. I want ice cream. <laughs> I want you really ice want cream. ice cream? You want, the, you, you want ice cream? Yes, All right, I do. I'm going to throw that over to Dan, the producer, and I'm going to have him put in the order. Oh, Dan is handling this? Dan, give him a thumb up. You're going to give him the ice cream, right? <laughs> All right, well, if it's news to you, it's news to Dan. Vanilla, chocolate, macadamia. Now, how much do we want to get? Cookie dough. Cookie dough and cookie dough. An hour. Do it now. The stock is trading down probably on this startling development. Word that they do not have macadamia nut ice cream. It's not here. And you've got now about 24 minutes, Amazon, to get it here. The ice cream has arrived. Welcome, everybody. Uh, apparently, with minutes to spare, here is Elise. Or it is Elise coming. Yes, it is. Now she's coming here uh, with a bag that contains said ice cream. And this is all part of the Amazon challenge. Thank you, Elise, very, very much. Amazon says it will deliver anything you want, except apparently something common like macadamia nut ice cream. Now, Dan had to make an audible, what we call an ordering audible. Um, <laughs> Because they didn't have the macadamia the nut ice cream. Raw cookie dough. Raw cookie dough. What ordered, are you doing? I, what, what I did was, uh, my way down here, I, I got online and I ordered some macadamia nut ice cream from Amazon. <laughs> it was great. They were here. They were here in about so 10 minutes. So you got the back. macadamia nut. You know, you know Su Susanna DeVore. You work with her, right? Oh, I know Susanna. Well, yeah. She said, Neil, it's okay to eat all the raw cookie dough you want. On right. the front of this packet that they delivered, I'm sorry. Yep. do not consume raw <laughs> cookie dough. On the back it says, your producer yeah. Lizzie Borden is trying to kill you. Right, exactly right. Isn't oh, that wild? Do not consume it. I see it. Do, do not, not consume. consume raw cookie dough. Raw cookie dough. Especially if you've had an heart surgery. Yeah, let's like say, let's say uh, hypothetically you had your uh, chest yeah. ripped open and your heart stopped for about five hours. I think Once you I... get off it, with oh friends like God. this, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, indeed. All right, so we tested it out. And all kidding aside, it worked. They got it here in, in under an hour. We ordered donuts first, ice cream second. I would have worked up the processed meats and cheeses, but my cardiologist was watching. <laughs> anyway, the fallout from this, because this is putting new uh, emphasis on getting stuff out there fast and making the Christmas rush. We've got internet radio sensation Mike Gunzelman joining us. Attorney Christy Kunze, uh, we got your world producer, Andrew White, Fox News contributor, Kat Temp. Kat, what do you think? Yeah, on my phone, I was just actually trying to order some Christmas presents for my sister, who I haven't got anything for yet, so I might try that. Is it just That's food? That's probably good news for her. I Is think. it just food, or can you no, get... No, it's ever, anything, anything, anything and everything, but there are limitations, right? You have to be in select cities, I guess, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a little skeptical. I mean, maybe the Cavuto name got it uh, expedited, mm. but I... You are so coming back. I, I, I did it. I, you could learn something from me. I did a same-day shipping thing with Amazon once. I was here... I was at work. Am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to order stuff at work? Anyway, I need additional. So when you were sh should have been doing stuff for me, you were like ordering stuff. Wrap it up. Anyway, okay, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I need I need a dish I need a dishwasher detergent. Do you uh, think you could get doesn't? that down the street? Yeah, but yeah. I, I didn't have time to get it down the street, so I wanted to test this out. So it was supposed to come at dinner time, like six o'clock. Didn't come. Eight o'clock. Put the kids to bed. It still hadn't come. I go to bed at ten. Hadn't come. I woke up kind of randomly at one o'clock in the morning. And I just kind of checked. Nightmare door. about dirty dishes, right? right? Sure. Yeah. It was there. So two things happened. I ran the dishwasher oh. at one in the morning because I had it. But then I'm thinking, who's delivering things at midnight? It was really. But that was, was same day. But that was that same day. So it yeah. kind of wasn't Delivery. the same day. So it was the next day. So oh, it was the same day. It was a 24 hour period. Same day. It said by dinner. I'm in the I didn't get it by dinner. I'm in the same boat as Kat. I have not begun my Christmas shopping whatsoever. I have seen Star Wars, though, twice this week instead. <laughs> really? So that's, that's where my priorities are. So, so why are you so late at doing this? You haven't done any? I, it's I haven't hard. done anything. No. I, Nothing for I miss if he's listening because you work with Don I I mean, something. Really? Does he give you anything? To get the gift like a month ago for my Niece because she wants something specific, and now I'm screwed because I'd be like jingle all the I'm way. Yeah. You so. know what's so weird about this? We're so impatient now, and again, there are limitations to this. Some things you can get, like macadamia ice cream, you can't get. But a lot of other stuff you can get, and I think it's part of Amazon's way of saying, 
just come here for your holiday shopping because we'll get it out there. Even though many times they, there are certain things they can't have in time. I buy, gar I think yeah, I buy garbage on Amazon anyway when not the holidays. Yeah, I buy yeah. everything. I love Amazon Prime. I get something from there every single day. But this is great because, I mean, it's going to take you two hours to park at the mall. So you might as well just have them deliver to you within two hours. That's fantastic. Some of us can't drive. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, okay. We're lazy. Well, yeah. Just ask the driver. Like, next up. <laughs> All right. Uh, the percentage of young Americans, you hear this, who are living with their parents is the highest it has ever been. Uh, it's 75 years. Years. 75 years. What do you guys think? I think, you know, we, it's no surprise. We have a lot of student loans. Everyone likes to say that we're lazy, but we're just trying to be financially smart, paying off the student loans instead of putting it toward a mortgage. Are and you living with your parents? I am, and I right. love Someone it. Someone feels, I think there's nothing too, wrong with that. You're feeling I think guilty, though. You seem people. like you're... I don't feel guilty. I I think, like, who else is going to show them how to use the DVR? And who's she, oh, my God. No, no, no. Did you no, actually I say that? Yeah, I think, She's eating it up. She I gets think the food and everything. She's a lawyer. For you, for you, it may work. You're clearly doing well in life, but I think overall it's too many people. I left home when I was 17. My childhood bedroom. Did they kick you out? No. My childhood bedroom is now the bedroom of my little sister's hedgehog, like in a normal family. Of course. How it should be. Yeah. I, I think you have issues with No, this. I don't. I mean, look, I, yeah, now you when I go for angry. Christmas, you I'm sleeping on the couch angry. and the hedgehog has its own room. <laughs> seems yeah. a, like a little bit uh, excessive I, but for the hedgehog. It does it really. I mean, they, in, in the Italian culture, I mean, they have generations. Oh, on. Japanese know. culture, generations. What's it's wrong? The beautiful with thing about our culture is you get to leave. My, 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 wow. My parents grew up in a, well, my mom in a Jewish home where... Every, everyone was there. So what's wrong uh, with that, right? Uh, my kids are 10 and 7, and I'm ready for them to... Well, I think... I, I... Well, I'm also part of I think it's also part of this like uh, entitlement, uh, this entitlement culture for especially the millennial generation where they they don't like competition. They want to be in their safe spaces. That they're just you know homegrown their whole entire lives. That uh, perhaps that's why there's no incentive to actually go out. Were and you something. kicked out of the house? Did your no, parents well, ever say? It was <laughs> no, no, because I thought it, I, I always had this idea about life. Like I'd rather do something than, than not do it. And I think in the Good end, like it's about. I mean, it's your life, so why not take that chance but I mean out of everybody that graduated high school so many of them moved home some of them still are four out of so. ten four out of ten that's wild how that's do four, they that's I mean, yeah. how do you party my parents party harder than I do. Oh. I think that's part of the <laughs> When they're problem. working the DVR. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I say okay. when fix the DVR, they go out and party. Oh. All right. Uh, in the meantime, we've got Ivanka. This happened again. It's been happening to the Trumps a lot, but Ivanka Trump was harassed on a JetBlue flight. And again, I think it was, was it Eric who was dealing with something similar like this a few weeks ago? Is that fair? Is that right? It's horrible. Oh. It's absolutely horrible, especially she had her kids with her. You know, that's something, contain yourself, okay? That's well, There's a know. woman who was distraught that her father even made it to the White House, right? But right. There right, should be some like, sort of etiquette on a plane. Right. right. It's the tolerant left once again for, once again for us. You know what I mean? Do right. it, you know, it's like this cult of personality where, I mean, some of them are becoming really mean. Like the inauguration, like the protests is not my president movement. I mean, the inauguration is going to be a mess because you're going to have all these. I mean, they're just not being friendly. Like, yo, the election's over. Deal with it. Let's make a positive. The same out of people it. who cool. kick their kids out of the house. And, yeah. You and know, this, <laughs> this man who did this, his husband was tweeting that he just calmly was you know expressing his opinion but in a previous tweet he'd said that he was his husband was chasing them down to harass them so I guess he didn't well, it was audible that everyone heard yeah, that's yeah, yeah there's yeah, nothing right. calm about it and even admitted that that wasn't their intention it wasn't like in it uh, you're gonna be on a plane with somebody you, you want as little communication as possible right. let alone confrontation you chat on the plane you, so you're not a chatter. You're, no. You have some people things you've got. No, do. I love people. I love certain people. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, say, I see. Beginning with herself. Yeah. I, well, yeah, you gotta look out for number one. No one else will. That's why you have to fly private. That's just it. We're, well, was she in first class? No, no, they don't have first class in Japan. She was in on some yeah. on some flights, but I don't think that was no, one where she had. It was like. But you know, the, you often see this, right? I mean, when when either celebrities or people, uh, but but maybe that comes with the turf. You're Donald Trump's kids. I mean, you're. Like, gonna, is going to happen. If I see Tom Brady on a flight, I'm going to be like, go Jets. I hate the Patriots. You know what I mean? But You uh, would not absolutely say that. Not. <laughs> you would. <laughs> you guys like would not be on the same I flight. You. you guys would so not be on the same Superman. flight. Yeah. <laughs> that whole deflated thing. <laughs> what, do you do when, what do you do when people harass you on a flight? 
Well, I'm, I'm nice to everyone, as you know. Oh, that's magnanimous with everyone. You're a piece of work. Okay, I do, I, but I do tell you to keep your distance from me. Oh yeah. You always travel so close. Yeah, I know. Well, know. that's the thing. Out of everybody that they get mad at on an airplane, Ivanka Trump. But what about the guy who's you know passing gas or the one sneezing Clock. on but you? But you know, like, well, you know, as well give the benefit of the doubt to Trump. Trump. It was a very heated election. People are very angry. I do think though on both sides, everyone has to get over it now. Like when you guys hear all these people, maybe friends of yours, who are saying. Uh, he's not my president. He's he's going to be well, not my president. He is okay. He's you might not like it. it. I went outside, freezing cold. Didn't like it, but I didn't start screaming like it's 85 degrees and sunny because I know it's not going to make a difference. <laughs> Just shut up and move on already. You know what I mean? But they're not moving yeah. on. No, they're not because particularly your generation yeah. guys not yeah. moving yeah. on. I have a very good friend yeah. who's uh, Massachusetts as liberal as they come, and we were talking on the phone, and he, he even he said. It's time to it's time to wrap it up. But it's they're not wrapping it up. Well, well he, he was. He was. Massachusetts buddies. Yeah. Okay. Well, still waiting what do your parents people. think of all the fuss over there? Oh, so. my parents love Trump too. So. Really? Yeah. And, and by the way, that's all working out. You and your parents. I, my mom is making me soft right now. Uh, it's a, I, no. Really? I really don't help out. My parents are do you, like. Do you pay I mean, them rent? I, do you pay them any sort of rent? All I do is work and pay my student loans. So like I work. Well, wait a minute. All but you're not paying them anything. anything. No, I pay them nothing. So do you help around the house in any way, no. shape, or form? I really don't. Wash. They they spoil wow. me a little bit. Mop a floor. But, a little. But a she's bad. making wow. me sauce. But I, she, I know she makes me sauce because I love it. My bedroom's got an animal in it. But yeah. my, <laughs> student loans so that's what's important and savings to buy my own house i've been replaced by a rodent yeah. <laughs> really? you, you, well, well, this is a whole separate thing we have to have another show with you about yeah. all right guys i want to thank you very very much in the thank meantime you. uh this idea about everyone thinking this year was going to end up the way it did no one did ex except people who watch the show we had it all sorted out for you but but i i want you to explore consensus